picking up from where we left off last week, <clears throat> we discussed outcome-based learning versus the classical model. We ended talking about grammar and dialectic and rhetoric and why they're called the liberal arts because they are meant to liberate us or to free us to learn. The formal trivium in the classical sense is grammar, dialectic, and rhetoric. Using biblical language, we can also label these as knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. God created us with three basic mental capacities. One for gathering information, that's knowledge. One for arranging information in an orderly way, that's understanding. The third is for putting this information and this ordering into practical use, or wisdom. These three capacities are mutually dependent on one another, but there is nevertheless a logical and developmental order among them. All three capacities are developing in the child from before birth. The child is always learning new facts, relating the facts to each other, and using these facts and relations in practical ways. During the child's early years, the foundation years, while all the three capacities are growing, the capacity for knowledge experiences the greatest growth. At this level, we teach the child the skill of comprehension, to accurately receive information, to gather facts. Knowledge is imparted through telling and demonstrating or singing fun songs. It comes through the senses. We develop a vocabulary of facts and rules. Our goal is to develop competence in the tools of inquiry, reading, listening, writing, observing, and measuring. All the while, the capacity for understanding has been developing. At about the age of 12, challenge A, this area experiences the greatest growth. This is an intense period where a capacity and ability for formal academic study of understanding related material is most profitable. When the child is at this level, we teach him the skill of reasoning, to critically question, analyze, evaluate, and discern causes, motives, means, purposes, goals, and effects, to investigate theory. Understanding is imparted through coaching, correcting, and drilling. We develop a vocabulary of relationships, ordering, and abstractions. Our goal is to develop competence and the tools of investigation, analyzing, comparing, and contrasting. The next stage the child enters is that of wisdom. When a large foundation of knowledge and understanding have been laid, the developmental parts of wisdom reach a level of maturity and we enter the intensive period where a capacity and ability for formal academic study of wisdom related materials is most profitable. When the child is at this level, we teach him the skill of wise judgment and effective expression through prudent expression and effective communication. Wisdom is imparted through encouraging individual initiative and innovation, asking questions, and leading discussions. We develop a vocabulary of philosophical ideas and values. We seek the application of principles, values, and goals. To summarize it all in one sentence, we first instruct the child in knowledge, or grammar. Then we guide the child in understanding, or dialectic. And finally, we challenge the child in wisdom or rhetoric.